So one of the unique things that Breezy Cloud offers is the ability to export your your landing page or whatever website you create within Brizzy as an HTML file. So the cool thing about this is that you don't have to host it on Brizzy Cloud. You can literally just use it as a web page builder and upload it to any FTP of your choice. So I just wanted to go over it real quick, show you what that looks like, what the process looks like, what the code looks like when you take it out. Um, because a lot of the programs that are automatic tend to provide kind of a complex code for you to go through. So in Brizzy, the way you would do that is once you create a project, okay, we're going to use a one page landing page for this example. First, I want to show you kind of what it looks like within Brizzy Cloud. So you'll see you have a beautiful little header here that the uh, carousel works. This is what the page looks like. It's very nice. So the cool thing about Brizzy Cloud, about Brizzy Cloud and that I mentioned in the past is that they give you really beautiful templates to work with. So I, in this particular template, I added a form because I wanted to show you what that looks like also in terms of code, All right? So you're gonna click update. We're gonna head back to the dashboard. And then now in the Brizzy Cloud uh, interface, you'll see the three little dots on the right hand corner here. And then you're gonna hit publish. Now you're going to get a few features, a uh, few ways that you can export your code or a few ways that you can publish your website. You're going to have a custom domain. You're going to have a subdomain. We're not going to go over this too. Then you have server sync, which is another cool feature that Brizzy Cloud has, which allows you to work on the Brizzy Cloud, hit publish and automatically FTPs the information over to the, uh, to your FTP. So that's pretty cool. I might do another video on that later. But what we're going to be actually focusing on today is the ability to export your landing page or website that you create on Brizzy Cloud through an HTML file. All right, so this is going to generate a zip, a zip file that's going to contain your HTML, your CSS, all your assets, JavaScript, images, everything. So we're going to hit download. And then this process sometimes takes actually quite a bit of time. Sometimes it could take a minute, and I've seen it take as, as much as five minutes. So you have to be a little bit patient during this process. Um, so if I'll just cut away and just show you the finished product. Okay, so here we are. Uh, Breezy created a zip file for us that contains all the assets as we expected. It took roughly about a minute, so it does take some time. So you have to be patient with, with uh, Breezy in that respect. Um, so again, you'll get a zip file here generated for you that you can save to your desktop. So let's just do that now. Let's save it to the desktop. And then here I'll give you some directions on what you can do with the files. So I'm assuming that you have some kind of HTML experience or you wouldn't be using something like this to be able to create, you know, landing page on any server that you choose. So it's so how you download the file, upload it to an FTP, and then, you know, browse the website and you should be good to go. It, it, it does work that simple. It's, there's not much you need to do on your end if you just want to take something that's created by Brizzy and upload it to your FTP. Now where you do have to edit the code, um, you know, you will see that it is a little complex and kind of what it gives you by default, but it's okay. I'm going to show you a cool trick that you can use in order to make it look better. Um, so let's get into that now. All right. So we downloaded this into our desktop. I'm going to unzip it. Distract all. All right. So here's the file. I'm going to open this into Firefox just kind of give you a look at lay of the land of the code. So here's the carousel. Everything's working as you would expect. You have the rollover effects. You have a rollover effects here. Everything's looking good. Everything's looking as expected. You can zoom in and out. And here's our contact form with a little button on the bottom for sending a message. Now, obviously, this form is not coded yet. So there's no action happening when you're looking at the code. So now let's look at the source real quick. I'm sorry about that. Let's look at the source. Again, you'll see that everything is, is minified. So you, everything is, uh, you know, running into each other. You know, this is just a way for them to save some space in terms of, you know, the HTML file. Now most, and I mean most, uh, HTML editors or, uh, you know, IDEs, they provide a way to tidy up the code. So they provide a way for you to take something like this and make it look more readable and more digestible. Uh, if you don't have access to an IDE or you, there's, you just use Notepad and like I do, I use Notepad++, you are able to use also um, online editors. So I'm going to show you just an example of that in case you don't have an IDE that kind of does it for you. 
but if you are used to using an IDE, you can probably just use that and you're good to go. So let me just, just to, for, for illustration purposes, I'm just gonna go to Google real quick and I'm gonna look for an HTML beautifier. Okay, sometimes it's, they're called HTML formatters, sometimes they call HTML tidying up. Uh, this is one I used in the past, the HTML formatter. I'll put the link down below in the video as well so you can just access it through there. But let's just plug in the code into there. Oops, uh, we're gonna go into HTML formatter. I'm gonna click format, it's gonna take a couple seconds, and then voila, here's your new code. Now let's hit this back into HTML notepad, and as you can see, it already looks eons better than what it used to look like. So let's just save this real quick so we can. Isn't it more difficult when you're doing a video? It's so much more difficult to type, and then you hit the microphone, it's great. All right, so here's the code. As you can see, it looks a lot better than what it looked like in this page. So instead of everything running together and instead of the code starting here just on one line, everything looks a lot more tidied up. Everything looks more readable. You can actually see the form here. You can see the class of the form. You, you wouldn't need to mess with that for the most part, but let's say you wanted to process the form. Here's the action tag, the action um, uh, code that you need to put in here. So you would substitute this with either your PHP page or you know whatever other code you like to use. Um, you can also you know use this here, this area here to input your JavaScript for Google uh, tracking and all of that good stuff. As you can see, Breezy Cloud's export feature is very handy. If you're a digital marketer and you have tons of websites and landing pages, this is a very very flexible program that allows you to do a lot with uh, for very little. So if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. And if you have any questions, leave a comment. I'd love to go into it with you. It is so hard to do this act to, to do the outro videos. It is so difficult. It's the most difficult thing in the world. I probably did that last take about 20 times. So please have mercy on me.